For centuries, the piano has been the backbone of music. Composers have relied on it to create timeless masterpieces. And for over 300 years, it has remained virtually unchanged. Until now. From the company who introduced the very first digital piano and created the first ever touch-sensitive keyboard comes an instrument unlike any other on the planet. Introducing the V-Piano Grand. Join us now as we explore the next chapter in piano evolution with the Roland V-Piano Grand. Hi, my name is Jana Resnick and I'm a concert pianist. I want to take you on a little bit of a tour to see the V-Piano Grand by Roland and to explain to you why you would want to have this piano. Um, one thing to understand is that we're not trying to sound like an acoustic piano or compete with acoustic pianos. What we're trying to do is understand how we can use technology to benefit our needs farther. So I would like to explain to you a few things that I find useful um, when I do concerts on this piano. So when I first get it out of the box, um, so to speak, and turn it on, um, I get this particular sound. To me, I prefer a little bit of a mellower sound, uh, so not as bright. So it is very easy to fix that um, with a couple of steps. I would go to key touch and change it to super heavy. As a classical pianist, I'm um, used to playing hard, and um, I like to put a lot of weight into the piano. So for me, I really like to work on it. And so the super heavy touch is actually very, very comforting for me. And I feel much more comfortable to control the sound and play um, much more comfortably. So that's one thing that is very exciting because you're not going to be able to do that with acoustic piano. Another great benefit to having this piano in the concert hall or in the church is the fact that you can adjust to acoustics. It's always so complicated when you come to a church and it has so much resonance naturally already that if you have an acoustic piano, you will get what you get, you can't adjust to it. So with this piano I was able to find different ways to adjust to the acoustics of the space and find more ambience or more bass um, if I want to or create less ambience and less bass if I want to as well. And it's very very simple to do and you want to make sure that it doesn't sound boomy in the space so you have that uh, control over um, the piano. So I would like to show you, very simple. Um, the, just with click of the ambience, you can change. Right now, there's nothing. Okay, so depending on how dead or how lively the acoustic of the concert hall is, you can adjust that. Never. Another wonderful feature that we have here is to be able to control the volume because you will be always in different situations. You might be playing in a party somewhere where you don't want to be as present and you're able to just tone the piano down without working too much on making it soft. Okay, or if you are in a classroom and you don't want the piano to be as present, you can turn the volume a little bit up very useful in apartment settings if you live at home and you have neighbors that complain. Um, this is a really fantastic feature to have because then the piano is not as present. But then when you're in the concert hall, then of course you can use the full potential of the sound. compromising the color and you're not compromising your playing at all. Besides the fact that this piano is always in tune, one thing to remember is that pianists always want something adjusted. So let's say I don't like the middle range because it sounds just too dull or the top range doesn't come across as too bright. And so we always have these conversations with our technicians when we're trying to tell them what it is that we're dreaming about to have in our pianos. Well, here you can sort of do the job yourself and adjust it to your liking, and not only to, um, you know, to set it 
one time, but also to adjust it to different pieces that you might be performing. So let's say uh, for Rachmaninoff, you want a much bigger bass, fuller bass, and maybe fuller top, but you don't want as much middle. Or uh, for Mozart, you want much less bass. And so you're able to adjust these things um, very, very simply and just by hearing it, uh, listening to it, and saying, okay, I like that. Um, so let me explain to you how to do that. Let's say you find the bass to be too boomy. You can do the low register, turn the decibels down, as you see the arrow going down, and then low mid register is here. You can adjust that. And then if you go to high mid register or high register, and then you can move the decibels up if you want more at the top. So you're much broader range now, less bass, more top. It seems like the entire planet is producing CD as you're thinking, wow, it is really expensive. So with this piano, um, we don't need a studio, we don't need um, an engineer. We don't need a space where to do it. it um, I was able to produce my CD directly from my home using this piano, and it sounds great, I think. I'm really happy with the sound. And uh, it was very easy to do. Just with the push of one, two buttons, um, we're able to start recording the music whenever you feel like. Record. New song. Stop. Save. Execute. You're done. And your new CD is here. One of the coolest features that you can do with these pianos is play duets with yourself if you don't have a friend to help you out. So you can record one part of the piece and then play the second part on top of that. And trust me, that's going to be the best collaborator you'll ever find. <laughs>